Hello, my name is Marcelo Freitas and this is a series of video in which I defend the preservation of the text of the New Testament using the line of transmission of Family 35. In this video, we want to explain why we should prefer Family 35 over the Textus Receptus. It should be noted at the outset that Dr. Pickering does not fight the Textus Receptus, the received text, because it follows the Byzantine manuscripts. For most practical purposes, it is a good text. However, it is not as good as the majority text of Hodges and Farstad or the Byzantine priority of Robinson and Pierpont. The most serious problem in any edition of the Textus Receptus is that there was no principles or method for choosing the word or the reading. Therefore, manuscripts attestation can vary dramatically from reading to reading, from word to word. Many words or reading are based on a very few and very late manuscripts and some readings come from the Latin tradition. This means that although you may hear someone say my received text is Erasmus and another one might say mine is King James 1611. This is marketing since as we said, there is no methodology that clarifies what motivated textual changes from one edition to another. So there may be 30 different editions of the Textus Receptus and you have to choose which one to use. But the texts are basically the same. Let's choose some famous examples to clarify what we say. We have already made a video clarifying the problem of the Johannine comma of 1 John 5, 7. We clarified that this verse is not objectively defensible. It is not inspired and it is not part of the original text. Revelation 16, 5, that is to come instead of holy. The scribe was assimilating, borrowing from the text of Revelation 1, verse 4 and 1, verse 8, which mentioned who was and is and is to come. Therefore, no Greek manuscript has this reading. This error has been corrected in some editions of the received text. Revelation 22, 19, Tuxulu follows the manuscripts and Biblo is the reading of Textus Receptus. So the received text has book instead of tree. Rel here means all Greek manuscripts. There is no attestation from Greek manuscripts for book. The story that is told is that Erasmus had only one Greek manuscript for the book of Revelation and that this manuscript was missing the last verses of the book of Revelation. As Erasmus was in a hurry, he simply translated the verses from Latin Vulgate into Greek. This means that in the book of Revelation, there is a greater concentration of problems in the Textus Receptus. Realize, therefore, that there are historical reasons for the problems that exist with the Textus Receptus. These historical reasons prevent these problems from coming from the editor's conjecture. Therefore, they are not conjectural emendation. Furthermore, it is not a problem of editors choosing to insert contradictions in the text. As a declared methodology, we emphasize that the distinctions between 
additions or assimilations and conjectural emendation helps us to understand the mentality of the editors of the Greek text. However, both types of changes should be excluded from the edited Greek text. Thus, there is no methodology in the received text for the choice of the readings of the variants in the Greek text and the variants are not objectively defensible. They should have already been removed from the text. Thus, the received text is not the best text, is not objectively defensible in all points. We do not know how, with so many later editions, the received text still carries this unwanted historical remnant of readings unsupported by Greek manuscripts. Therefore, the Textus Receptus is not objectively defensible at all points, since Family 35 is objectively defensible on all points. It should be preferred. If you want more information on the topic, we inform that we have a book on the subject. The title is Family 35, Original Text of the New Testament, Exposition of Evidence. Thank you and see you next video.